As an educator, if you add up the total number of contact hours that you have with kids over a year's time, it's under 1,000 hours. Outside of class, kids will have about 5,000 hours, waking hours, in which they're gonna be doing everything else except what's happening right in school with you there. How good is your 1,000 hours per year? Is it good enough to be able to ameliorate the effects of 5,000 other hours out there? It's gotta be spot on. This means purposeful teaching. This means thoughtful schools. This means don't waste a minute of time. We now have irrefutable scientific evidence that there are clear differences in the brains of kids who grow up in poverty versus those in middle class and upper class families. Some of the differences include emotional changes in the brain, which is why relationships are so important at school. Some of the differences include things such as lack of intellectual stimulation, cognitive stimulation, which is why more reading material is important, more cognitive skill building is important. They also include acute and chronic stress, which is different. It's pervasive in families that grow up in poverty. And finally, we know there are health and safety issues. All of these cannot help but impact the brain. The studies show if you average out the brains of those from low-income families, it's not just that the IQ is different, it's different for a reason. More exposure to stressors, toxins, health issues, less emotional support, and cognitive differences are pervasive. That's the bad news. The good news is the human brain is designed not only to adapt from negative experiences, but it's designed to adapt and change for positive experiences. What we're all about is addressing how do you make those positive changes in the brain? How do you make them stick? And how do you do ones that are gonna drive student achievement? If you don't know what drives changes in the brain, the changes that drive student achievement, you'll always struggle. But if you do, if you do know these changes, you will see everyday miracles happen in your kids. It happens in schools all over the country. Let's explore some ideas based on the SHARE factors. SHARE is an acronym that I developed to give you a clear checklist, a model to successfully counter the effects of poverty on kids. You can use the model school-wide and also in a more micro way in the classroom. These concepts need to be clearly understood and relentlessly applied for you to get the positive and dramatic changes you want in your students. At the elementary level, it's particularly important to focus on your share factors because you're getting a student that doesn't have years and years of baggage. You're getting a student that is more likely to be psyched up about being in school. You're getting a student that's not jaded, and you're getting a student at which you can start scaffolding and building their brain so that they can have an extraordinary life ahead of them or a life period outside of the criminal justice system. You're getting students that you have an extraordinary opportunity to make a difference.